Hello and welcome to the Film Story Recap Channel. This is definitely the most exciting Korean horror movie of 2022. The story is divided into 10 episodes, and each episode is chilling. Today we update the last 5 episodes. For the first 5 episodes, please check the previous video on the channel. Episode 6, The Girl in the Mirror. Jealousy drives people to madness and turns them into terrible monsters. Hyun Ju is a makeup artist. She draws beautiful makeup for customers, but the customer doesn't buy anything. This made Hyun Ju so upset that she threw away the brush in her hand in anger. A colleague rushed over to enlighten her. She said she was ugly. So what's the use of makeup? Sell her cosmetics. I feel like a fraud. Her colleague advised her that she would be fired if the store manager saw her. But Hyun Ju said she had a lot of fans. The sponsorship money alone is huge. What I'm doing now is just my hobby. In the cafe, Hyun Ju was fixing her makeup. The phone rings. The pretty girl next door was talking to her boyfriend, interrupting her makeup, which annoyed her. While the woman went to get food, she flicked the eyebrow pencil to the floor. At that moment, she pretends to pick up the eyebrow pencil. In reality, she was peeking at the woman's phone. When she saw the woman coming back, Hyun Ju rushed back to her seat. She picked up her phone and left a vicious comment under the woman's social account. Looking at the woman's panicked look, Hyun Ju showed a smile. While she was waiting for the elevator, a woman walked by on her phone. The happy look made her unhappy. When she entered the elevator, she deliberately bumped into the woman. This made the woman very angry. She was left alone in the elevator, turning back to see the elevator covered with red handprints. In the mirror, she actually smiled a creepy smile. The elevator stopped, and everything went back to normal. In the bathroom, she looked at her face. She was very dissatisfied. She wanted to ask her mother for money for cosmetic surgery. Her mother scolded her straight away. So angry that Hyun Ju threw away her toothbrush, she walked out of the bathroom. But in the mirror, she did not disappear. She lay on her bed and watched other people's photos being liked by her fans. This drove her straight to madness. When she looked in the mirror, she heard strange noises again. But she didn't care. Hyun Ju picked up his phone and started taking pictures of himself. But just as she was about to retouch the picture, the picture of him became hideous. She threw away her phone in fear. When she picked up the phone, a hand came out, directly tore off a piece of her face. Looking at her face on the phone, Hyun Ju fell straight down. This story tells us not to have too much jealousy. Episode 7, Tunnel. A small car drives into a tunnel. His wife calls and yells at Ji Hoon. Ji Hoon gets upset. He drops his lighter on the ground. When he looked up, he saw a deer appear in front of the car. Ji Hoon stopped with a sharp break, but the deer disappeared. He then saw a handprint on the window of the car, remembering that the police had just touched the window. He thought it was the police's handprint, but the wipers wouldn't wipe it off. Ji Hoon took out a paper towel. The handprint was actually inside. He saw more handprints on the passenger side. Ji Hoon thought he was hallucinating. Ji Hoon cursed and pulled out of the tunnel and stopped the car, seeing that there was no one around. Ji Hoon opened the trunk. A strand of hair caught on the outside of the luggage. He hurriedly grabbed a knife and cut the hair, throwing it on the side of the road. He drove on his way. Another tunnel appeared in front of him. When he entered the tunnel, Ji Hoon's eyes were dazed. Suddenly, he saw a woman appear on the side of the road. Then numerous handprints appeared on the windshield. Ji Hoon stopped the car quickly, but when he got out of the car and didn't see anything, he opened the trunk in anger. He picked up a hammer and smashed it into the luggage. When the luggage was smashed open, he realized that there was only a pool of blood inside. At that moment, there was a sound coming from the distribution box. He turned his head to look. The huddled body moved. The lamp bursts at this time. She slowly looked up at Ji Hoon. When Ji Hoon looked up again, a body was lying on its back not far away. The body was moving slowly in an eerie position. Ji Hoon was so frightened that he went back to the car and saw in the rearview mirror. The woman was sitting in the back. He was just about to turn around when the woman killed him. Episode 8, Escape Games. Room escape everyone should have played, but none of the people who went into this room came out. Three people are playing escape games, they directly set a record in history. The three of them were taking pictures happily. New Ri received a message. The newly opened escape room invited the trio to experience it. They said it was the most realistic scenario to date, and the prize money is up to 10 million. The next day, 
the trio arrived at the promised location, they found the entrance by the underground passage, but they didn't notice that there were several notices on the wall looking for people. The receptionist told them, if they could get out, $10 million would be credited to their account immediately. This made the three of them very happy. They walked into the chamber, and the computer gave them a message. Through computer prompts, young men found the organ. The first level was easily passed. The trio had just walked into the second level. Alexa saw a puddle of blood on the ground. Suddenly a body fell down. Young men rushed to help her up. New Reese said it was just a prop. The trio continued to move forward, but the prop they were talking about opened its white eyes. Three people separated to find. New Ree finds an arrow in a book. Young men and Alexa each find a door. Young men twisted the key, and the bookshelf fell straight down. If it hadn't been stuck, young men might have died. Luckily, he also got the key. The trio used the key to open the door Alexa found. They arrived at the third level. The place was filled with paintings that looked like they were from hell. New Re pushes the button. Suddenly a bow and arrow shot out of the wall. He rushed to warn the other two, but it was too late. They were trapped in the cage. There was blood dripping from their heads. They looked up and saw the cage full of limbs and broken arms. New Re found a key, according to the hint in the book, but he said the key wouldn't open the cage because he wanted to take the prize money for himself. He opened the door to the fourth level. It was pitch black. He took out his cell phone for lighting, sees a man standing in front of him. New Ri was so scared that he sat down on the floor. He saw a pair of familiar shoes. He looked up and saw that it was Alexa. New Ri backed up repeatedly. He got up and took two steps back when someone blocked him. He looked back and saw that it was young men. Only then did he realize that he was surrounded. There was an eerie pattern painted on the ground. He saw a door. As soon as he opened it, he was pinned down by a pile of corpses. He managed to climb out but was dragged back in again. The system says escape failed. This story tells us not to be too selfish. Episode 9, The Closet. A perverted man posts a free closet online. A beautiful woman calls and asks. He then asks for an offline transaction. He then asks the pretty girl to come to her house to see the wardrobe on the pretext that he has no workers. The girl is very happy to see the closet in front of her. The perverted man showed a weird smile. He also promised that he would find someone to deliver the wardrobe to her home tomorrow. The wardrobe was delivered on time the next afternoon. The girl's friend was surprised to see the wardrobe and said, A month ago, I also asked. And he said it was sold. Beauty joke he may look ugly. When she got home, she was happy to fill the closet. She closed the closet. And when she turned around, the closet door opened by itself. The girl turned around and tried to close it a few times. This door seems to be broken. She also complained that it was no wonder it was free. When she was sleeping at night, it seemed that someone had gotten under her blanket. She opened her eyes and saw a hand on the bed. Then numerous hands appeared and grabbed her by the neck. Good thing it was just a dream. She turned her head and saw that the closet door was open again. She opened it and looked but found nothing unusual. The next night, she was dragged under the covers as she slept. But when she got up, she saw nothing, tried to turn on the light to see. The key moment is not working. She rushed into the kitchen and grabbed a kitchen knife. She searched around the house but found nothing. Inadvertently she saw that the closet door was open again. She went up to check. The wood panel of the closet seems to have problems. At that moment, the perverted man suddenly appeared and grabbed him by the hair. She was then pushed to the ground. The perverted man grabbed her feet and tried to drag her back. The beauty took the opportunity to pick up the knife and frantically stabbed into the back of the perverted man. But the perverted man seems to feel no pain. The girl was so scared that she grabbed her cell phone and hid in the bathroom. Just as she was calling for help, a knife stabbed into the door of the room. The sound of the door closing came, and silence fell outside. The girl carefully walked out of the bathroom and did not see anyone. She finally put her mind at ease. Just sat down on the bed. The perverted man appeared under the bed and dragged her in. Episode 10, Necromancy. This is a story about two good girlfriends. Remember to bring your best girlfriends to watch it with you. Shi Haiyan has a best friend who is very close to her. They are inseparable from each other. Their relationship was closer than a couple. The classmates were pointing at them. Somehow the best friend suddenly committed suicide. Looking at the seat of her best friend, this made Ji Haiyan miss it very much. She went to the practice room and took out the diary they had written together. In it, they had made a promise. If one of them dies, the other one will perform a ritual of hide and seek to summon the spirit of the deceased person. She took out their nails and put them into a doll's body. Then she put the doll in front of a mirror. 
She said to the doll, count to 100, and you will come to me. She ran out of the practice room quickly and hid in the last compartment of the bathroom. When the time was up, the lights in the bathroom flickered on. She saw her best friend appear at the door, but when she got close, the figure disappeared again. She thought something had gone wrong. Ji Hyun returned to the practice room. The doll was still lying there. She picked up the diary and saw that there was a corner missing. She hurriedly found the missing corner in the cabinet. It says that a soul summoned by a person can only be brought to life again by eating the flesh of the summoner. Ji Hyun was so stunned that she dropped the paper in her hand turning her head to see her best friend appearing beside her. The corners of her mouth split open, revealing a bizarre smile. She instantly eats Ji Hyun. Ji Hyun came in front of the mirror. The two truly merged into one. So you should not summon ghosts easily. Okay, these are the last five episodes of Soul Ghost Stories. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.